Naruto Shippuden chapters, they're very impactful given what's occurring at that time, right? Given the story being told. Whereas sometimes, like these rare chapters, you know, 78 in a part one, um, if that is the correct number, or chapter 13 in Two Blue Vortex, these chapters don't only just affect the current story, but it affects the entire franchise and the mythology, right? Of not only just Boruto, but the Naruto and Naruto Shippuden series. And is that kind of like ground shaking, like a groundbreaking, earth shattering type of, you know, information and context that just really makes this like undeniable for me personally, a 10 out of 10. Um, you get to see Kashi and Koji, you know, this this ability um, kicks in and we learn that he has Shibai Otsusuki cells and he can see into multiple different timelines and we see a time like he speaks of a timeline when Naruto died and Ishiki succeeded in taking over Kawaki's body and the world dies, right? We see a timeline when Sarada and Borto are defeated by Kawaki. We see a timeline when Kawaki gets packed by a claw grime. We see a call, uh, what well, we are told rather of these timelines when Code of all pe of all people <laughs> defeats a Kawaki and Finally catching W's. I know, bro, in a parallel world, my God, man. So like, it's it's like, it's 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 almost like I'm at a loss for words at how random and how like I I don't even know what to call this chapter. It's just like canon breaking damn near. I, I I kind of feel like it, even if it's not. I kind of feel like you know characters, things, situations. Like are we? I said this before. Are we still following the same Borto from part one? Is this a different Borto? Is this yeah, like a I different no Naruto or, or like, I, I don't know. I don't know. But I'm well, yapping. One, I'm of yapping. The, one of the things I feel like could possibly fundamentally change the series and I might just be yapping as well. We now have like future sight and like time travel. Like, like both things are now into the like the, the Boruto verse. So like yeah. in my personal opinion, like it just it's not an easy right for like the for like the mangakas out there because they it, there's like a whole lot of potential plot holes that can arise just from those two things I, I feel like eventually they'll they'll get it down but i feel like this just opens the door for a lot of like weird writing <laughs> i don't know yeah no it's it's, it's definitely um <laughs> it's definitely uh, a lot it's definitely a lot so kosh and koji basically described this as like an ability that he got from Shibai. We pretty much understood that Amado had like the whole entire like scientific technology or let's say scientific experiments on cyborgs and artificial human beings and basically tried to give them some of Shibai's powers. He basically just said he, they, they Amado implanted Shibai's cells in, in, into their, their bodies. So I'm not entirely sure how the process completely ran. Like, for example, did he implant like omnipotent cells into Ada? It kind of seemed like it was completely random. It was just like, hey, just take some cells and just throw it in there. Like, I don't even know if they gave Ada a Sengren gun. They might have just gave Shabai, gave her like Shabai cells and she just unlocked it. I have no idea at this particular point. But uh, the question I did want to ask, like, do you think others, let's say, quote unquote, cyborgs and, and synthetic human beings could unlock other Shabai like abilities because at this particular point you know for a very long time we thought Kashi Koji didn't have any and then he pretty much said after or right before he died he pretty much unlocked it so do you think the other ones could pretty much unlock one or unlock more other ones being the cyborgs created by a, by a model yeah I, to be honest the only one that I could really think right now that doesn't really have too too crazy of an ability would be code even though he does have the claw marks but like People like Code, Ada, Damon, of course, like Boro and the rest, pretty they pretty much dead, dead right now. So they can't really get one. But like characters, I guess only those three characters, right? Because those are the three left. Yeah. Do you think they they could unlock another one? Um, I I don't I don't want to rule out the possibility, mm. but it does seem that they just get the one, right? Like the claw marks for a Code, Sinrigan for Ada. And of course, um, the reflective uh, reflectability for Damon. So for Koji, yeah, the the ability to see into the future, like the opposite of Ada. So the um, unofficial translation say, yeah, these are these are like very OP abilities that I wouldn't imagine an author would want to give them more than one of from the same guy. So I don't know. But like Shibai has all of these. 
right? So it's possible. I think it's in the realm of possibility that somebody may manifest some other um, powerful ability, right? Um, mm -hmm. Ada, she can use the Synergon, but like she can also use Omnipotence and Fly. So all of that comes from from Shibai, whereas like Damien can't fly seemingly yet, but he can use the reflect ability. And of course, the same thing goes for code with the one ability that he seems to have. So it's like, it's, it's like super interesting. It looks like the ocular abilities are perhaps the better techniques or the better things to inherit. Um, I'm not sure if ocular abilities is what's responsible for Kashi and Koji mm -hmm. seeing into the future. I don't see any indication of that. But um, he, outside of like the unofficial translation saying like it's like the opposite of Ada. So I'm kind of like us making assumptions there. But yeah, possible, likely, I would say no. I would say no. Right, yeah, true. You, you did kind of bring up the caution Koji, but I did kind of like clarify this. We, I do want to bring up it. We don't fully have like the actual, you know, official translations yet. These are just like fan translations or people are like professional translators translating boards. So, so like we don't fully know, but getting into some of the details it seems like kash and koji can see all possibilities and not just 10 even though it's called 10 dimensions but even still like he doesn't necessarily like i feel like he doesn't necessarily know all the possibilities even though he can see all the possibilities because he says he can change the possibilities so technically those aren't really the possibilities so i, I mean those aren't all the possibilities there, there's still other pot i don't it, it's kind of confusing it's kind of confusing is it is it certainly 10 like was that like confirmed or with the no it wasn't 10 the name well un unconfirmed translations or unofficial trans the, the name was 10 dimin or 10 10 dimensions i believe something like that so, is that is, is, I, is that like I got, let, let me go look back let me go let me go yeah because because i because times like this a lot of the fans would just start doing research on like wikipedia and start finding things and then start mm. making claims about what what this is. So like, so when we say like, oh, it's called this. Well, is it called that? Or is like, oh, and this translate. Well, is that accurate? So like all that stuff. Um, I think it's interesting to talk about like just for the hype of it all. But I wouldn't like make a definitive positive claims about what this stuff is until the official chapter drops. Um, yeah. In time of recording, that doesn't seem to <laughs> be the case. So um, that's yeah, just true. that's the only thing I'm, I'm I'm a little cautious about. But yeah. Yeah, and speaking of some things that I've I've kind of seen that was some mistranslations. I know in some translations it said that there are four Shinju Shinjus that are not four four hundred Shinju. Shin, you know what I'm talking about. It was four hundred of them that could have possibly been made from the ten tails, but other people have came out or other translators came out and said it wasn't four hundred. It was multiple. But I'm not. One of the things that we did see for sure is that it, we've seen a possibility or at least uh, a future where my life. Uh, Shinki gets turned into one of these Shinjutsus or Shinju. So, just with that, because we're being cautious, is this certainly Shinki or is this what we believe to be Shinki? Because it looks like Shinki, Shinki to me. Okay, yeah. bad, bad. What, what we believe to be Shinki, at least. Right, right. So, like, like yeah, he definitely, he certainly looks like Shinki mm. to me as well. Um, and if it is Shinki, um, like I mentioned in my um, stream the other night, um, I'm, I'm conflicted. I'm both excited because, you know, my boy is canon, okay? Besides his little flash, you know, little montage of him being in the beginning, I suppose, during the tuning exams. But um, <laughs> He's I, canon I, to TBV. To TBV. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like, yo, know, like, I'm, I'm happy you're back, bro, but, like, not like this. Not like this, man. But <laughs> at the same time, like, I, you know, beggars can't be choosers, I'm told. So I, I'm just like, yo, I'll take whatever I can get. The unfortunate thing is a lot of character development was done for Shinky in the anime in particular. Right. Mm -hmm. So I'm not sure if that's going to like bleed over into the manga at this point. You know, not only is the anime definitively just by the nature of the medium that it is right um going from still images to moving ones it, it, it necessitate necessitates that things happen in the manga um that don't occur in, in the anime and vice versa but also um just yeah different continuity different canon and then you tack on like parallel worlds okay well the anime is a parallel uh canon okay my, my fan theory all right um, just the same thing with Mitsuki getting his like development in the manga that he kind of got in the anime. So it doesn't seem to cross over the work that was done for Shinki. The, I suppose at the heart of it, the impact.